Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct this evening from the downtown Memphis studios of News Channel 3, WREG-TV. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Website there, right above my head at WREG.com slash webcams for the view from across the Mid-South and WREG.com slash weather for the entire weather picture from the News Channel 3 studios, including a look at Go Jim Go. That's going to be happening coming up within the course of the next couple of weeks as Jim hits the road for Labonter Children. Children's Hospital. Would love to have you along for the ride, so if you'd like to take a look and see what's going on with Jim and his ride across the Mid-South, plus where he's going to be and when, we'd love to be able to have you there, so find out more again at WREG.com slash weather for more information about that. Currently in the Mid-South, not that much going on in the way of major amounts of problems. We do have, again, the possibility of a few more showers and thunderstorms out there into the next couple of days, but as of right now, we just don't have a lot going on immediately. We'll be looking again for the potential of more chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on as we go into the course of the next several days. But as of right now, it's going to be quiet, some patchy fog into overnight, and beyond that, there's just really not that much to worry about for right now. Kind of warm out there, and we'll continue again to see more potential for problems with that into the semi-near future. But afterwards, it looks like we've got some very nice conditions out across the Mid-South when it comes to the numbers into this next week. And yes, that does mean cooler weather on its way for the area. Yes, I know, I can hardly believe it myself. Welcoming everybody again on Periscope and Twitter for this evening. And if you're just joining us on Facebook, at least I hope you're joining us on Facebook, uh, we do have, again, some connection problems here, but things appear to be kind of settling down for right now. It is a warm evening. Again, it's fairly humid. There will be the possibility for fog out across the Mid-South for later on tonight. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never seen this before, again, complete forecast update available here. And again, into the screens, we'll have more details about what we're going to be talking about here in just a little bit. Again, pretty quiet for right now. Forecast details down this direction, social media here. And again, also you can find us at wreg.com slash weather for more. Thanks to everybody on Periscope and Twitter and Facebook who are now joining us. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with radar for tonight, which again was a lot more active early this evening. Not that much going on across portions of the Mid-South. We do have a few leftover showers into around Imboden, Ravenden, and into around the area of Williford in northeast Arkansas, very close to the Hardy area. But again, we're just not looking at too much of anything showing up at this point in time into the Mid-South, so good news on that. Rest of the afternoon and evening into the next couple of days will be very warm and a little bit on the sluggish side out there with all that humidity, so that could be just a little bit of a problem. Temperatures right now in the Mid-South. Give me a second to get this uh, back up and working, and hopefully we'll get this taken care of. Not too sure why this is not showing up at this time. Excuse me just one moment. Maybe a shorter show than what I have seen in quite some time here, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here for just a sec. If you are just joining us, again, stick around for more. We'll have more details uh, on your complete forecast coming up. There we go. Okay, sorry. This social media thing gets a little bit uh, cantankerous sometimes to get this all uh, taken care of for the time being. We may have to s get back out of this once more, and there we go. Okay, cool. Got to hit the right switches these days. I found that out. Temperatures in the Mid-South area, mainly back into the mid to upper 70s, close to 80 degrees, very quiet across the Mid-South, and not really all that much again going on. Lots of clouds into the area from earlier this afternoon on the visible satellite picture. Uh, you can see those clouds blossoming across the area. This view from the uh, Penn State Meteorological Group, and thanks to everybody there for getting uh, some nice pictures out there. Maria just off the East Coast states on the far right-hand side of your screen and sending some clouds into the Carolinas. That, again, is going to be affecting their weather more than anything else. Bit of a cluster of storms down across the Gulf of Mexico around the panhandle of Florida. Beyond that, just really not that much except for that nice tropical air sitting in place across much of the area. Rest of the forecast, again, for the next couple of days, we're just not seeing all that much. Seven-day forecast from the National Weather Service shows little, if anything, in the way of hazardous weather coming on through, so very quiet for the most part out there. High pressure remains well in control back to the east east of us. In the East Coast states, that high pressure has been kind of blocking that latest cold front from coming on through. And unfortunately, the closer that thing gets to us, it's going to be kind of running out of steam because high pressure is going to be pushing back on this thing, not allowing it to move that quickly. So chances of rainfall best to the west of us and dwindling by just a little bit into the next couple of days. 
We're just not seeing too much of anything in the way of very cool weather yet, but we will be getting there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Low temperatures tonight, again, in the News Channel 3 viewing area for the Mid-South, East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and Northern Mississippi. Low temperatures in the high 60s to around the low 70s. Thanks to everybody on Facebook for checking in. I'm not too sure why the chat is disabled on uh, Twitter and Periscope. Sorry about that, but you can still send uh, questions via WREG.com at my website address at austin.onic at WREG.com. Lower 90s for tomorrow. Chance of rainfall greatest down around Clarksdale so we may stand about a 10 to 15 percent chance somewhere in there of getting some rainfall into parts of the Mid-South and that's going to be a very limited chance. Lows tomorrow in the lower 70s for the metro, upper 60s throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South area. Tuesday's highs in the lower 90s, Wednesday's highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s and by the time we hit Thursday that's when we start to see the nicer conditions head their way into the Mid-South with some northerly winds again bringing in some nicer conditions out there. Still kind of warm on Thursday. Friday looks excellent. Mid to upper 70s. 80s down around Tupelo, but that should be about all that we see at that point in time. And winds continue out of the north-northeast, bringing in some nice, dry, and comfortable air. Looking ahead to Friday night football this next week, no precipitation expected, and kickoff temperatures very nice back into the lower 70s across much of the Mid-South. So beautiful conditions there. The meteogram from, the in, from uh, Iowa State, usually again showing us some very warm conditions in the Mid-South area. In this case, we're seeing these very warm numbers including on Tuesday into Wednesday back into the lower to mid 90s possible some very warm numbers coming up but notice how everything just sort of drops its way on downwards into the next several days toward the weekend things looking a lot better as the temperatures begin to fall off by just a little bit here and that shows in our seven day forecast as well temperatures into the next several days will be looking much more pleasant mid to upper 70s by the time we hit Friday into Saturday so a little bit more nicer across much of the area as we get into the next couple of days after the beginning of the week. This is going to be pretty much on the warm side out there for right now, but at least we'll be getting away from the very hot temperatures coming our direction, and that'll be a nice little break. We will warm back up again toward the end of next weekend. Yes, that could mean the 80s, but it doesn't really look like too much to worry about out across much of the Mid-South, so good news on that. Once again, if you'd like to find out more about Go Jim Go, all you have to do is go to WREG.com and click on the weather page for more information then click on go jim go for more he'll be starting his drive pretty soon here into the near future and great opportunities to learn more about why we do what we do where he's going to be where you can donate all that great stuff it's all available again at wreg.com it is banned books week starting today if you'd like to know more about the challenge and also about to certain books and certain works of literary art and if you'd like to know more about what's being done to counter censorship this is a great way to do it Head to the American Libraries Association at ALA.org and find out more about Banned Books Week 2017 going on right now. There's ways you can get ready for severe weather and for other disasters, and the best way you can do that is by joining Skywarn to know more about severe weather. To get to the Mid-South, all you have to do is go to, again, the map of the National Weather Service from weather.gov, scroll down to the Mid-South, click the Mid-South area. That'll take you directly to the National Weather Service Forecast Office for Memphis, Tennessee. That'll do a good job of taking you there. Then click on the Storm Spotters uh, sentence under the headlines, and that'll take you directly to the Storm Spotters meeting schedule. The first meeting coming up will be this Tuesday in Oxford, Mississippi at Lafayette County at the Fire Department on 50 County Road 32. This is a great opportunity to learn more about severe weather, what to do, how to prepare, what to look for when severe weather hits, what to report back to the National Weather Service. It's a great opportunity to learn more. It is National Preparedness Month, and this is your opportunity to learn more about what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South and beyond that to get ready for our second severe weather season peak. That's coming up pretty soon, roughly from about mid-October through about early December. We can get some very nasty tornadoes and strong storms in here. And if you don't believe me, ask people in and around the 
Houston High School area around Collierville who got a pretty good tornado in about 94 or 96. I can never remember which one, but some pretty nasty weather can happen, and this is one way, just one, you can get ready by knowing what the weather's like in your area. I would highly recommend this as a uh, professional meteorologist. This is a good opportunity to get more details into your brain and knowing more about what to do before, during, and after severe weather hits. This is an excellent thing to think about just to be on the safe side. So please keep this in mind and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest in severe weather, but keep it more information on this. We'll be promoting these meetings online as much as possible over the course of the next few days. More information available on my Facebook page as well. Thanks to everybody for dropping on by for more on that. Sorry about the banner at the top of the page getting some uh, stuff taken care of there. And as of right now, again, some great information on my Twitter page. Plenty of Twitter information uh, from forecast details to severe weather forecast to general overall science information. And again, more on National Preparedness Month. It's all available right there. Also available at Google+. Plus. Not too many people using this service, but a good opportunity uh, to use more on the Google Plus page if you'd like to tune in and know more about that. Coming up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., you can find Find out more about my complete forecast with Bob and Josh. That'll be at AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio and also available at www.talkbacklivenetwork.org. If you can't listen on the radio, need to listen over a computer and check out my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We are going to be a little bit late tonight, thanks to NFL football rolling over by just a little bit this evening. So we'll be on at approximately 10.30 or so with the late edition. So hopefully this will tide you over until then. So please feel free to join us for the late edition coming up. Kristen Holloway has the day's news. Mike Sadie has a very busy day in sports. And, of course, I'll have your forecast getting you ready for the rest of the work and or school week, the last full week of September as we head into October as we head into next weekend. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. More coming up tonight on the late edition of News Channel 3. And stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the week on News Channel 3 on air and online.